So this is what I have so far. I got a wiring harness. This is my 99 electric rod. I just basically laid the frame, I mean, I'm sorry, I laid the wiring harness on this bike so I can kind of piece together what I'm doing. Sorry, it's a little dusty, sawdust. Girlfriend's uncle was cutting wood in here. But um, yeah, got this wiring harness. And when I bought it, it was kind of like an impulse buy because wiring harnesses don't really last too long on eBay. But it was in good shape. Got it for around $260 and didn't have the caddy on it, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, the only problem is just trying to figure out where the wires go. Um, me and my girlfriend were down here taping each one off. And I was reading it off of the uh, diagram Harley printed out for me. And I just start labeling where, every, where everything goes. Um, I got the caddy on. It's away. The first harness I bought, the guy said it was a... Uh, Roguelite harness and it ended up being a 2010 or 2011 Street Glide Screaming Eagle harness, which wouldn't work. But then someone on the forum said it would work, and then guy said it wouldn't work. And then another guy said that it would work, you just have to stretch your wires, whatever. I'm not really trying to dig into wiring or too many wires. Um, so I bought that. Then I found an interconnect harness or interlink harness whatever you want to call for the fairing which connects into this into this for the main harness um, this is the diagram I have I have it on my phone too but I got this from Harley which is the interconnect harness and this is the main harness um, but you can look it up online. Um, if you need a harness or a manual or a parts catalog, hit me up. I got them. But the only problem with this was, this was the only one that didn't have a connection on. So I'm going to have to figure which one this is. I think it goes to the throttle. But I could be mistaken. Or it goes to ABS, which I don't plan on running ABS. So if it does go to ABS, it's good because I'll just put heat heat shrink on all these. I don't plan on running ABS, but I don't know if it's going to throw a code if I don't plug it in, which I'm being told it will, and some people will tell me it won't. But the ECU I have came off a non-ABS bike. So I think it's going to work, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm waiting for the caddy to come in and then I'll bring down the frame it's a three piece of subframe swing arm frame main frame and then I'll start putting that together and I'll record that and hopefully we can get some concept on where all the wires go pretty sure this is for the engine for oh, I'm trying to remember because I didn't mark them yeah this is for the engine this is going to come down right here because I'm running the 103 in that bike ECU don't know what this is yet I didn't mark it I have to read it <coughs> Thinking this is for something maybe in the rear or the front. This might be for the oil cooler and oil temperature. I'm not sure, but I have to look on the paper. I didn't get that far, but yeah. So that's what's, what it's going to be. So I hope you guys again like subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I post a new video um, the only part that sucks is 
it doesn't have a caddy. If I would have bought it in the caddy, it would have been much easier because I would have just been able to lay it on the bike and then what goes where. Um, which I do have another another wiring harness in my cart, but I just don't know if I'm going to uh, don't know if I'm gonna buy it because it's a different part number. Um, it's one of those part numbers that says you can use it with the Street Glide or Road King, or a or a Road Glide, I think, or or a Street Glide and a Road Glide. I'm not really sure, but I have to go do some more research, and we'll get into doing research more as I go, um, because there's some things I should have researched before I got into it and purchased it. Um, but yeah, so and I'm not really sure we can see that, but. Those part numbers are trying to match up on my part number list because you can get these connectors from Harley. And that way, if I see what that is, I match it to the number um, on the parts list and it may tell me where that goes. So I'm also gonna try that too. Um, I have a parts list that's like 500 something pages long on the road glide. So that's another way I think I'm going to uh, figure out where they go. Um, but I did find one of these cheaper in the caddy. I paid 30 bucks for the caddy, paid like 260 for this harness. But I found a guy on eBay who has the wiring harness in the caddy for like $150 shipped. So I might just grab that anyway and see what I could do with that. I think the difference between it is the real glide is throttled by wire. And if it was on a street glide, I think that bike it came off of was throttled by cable. So, see you guys later.